so what is it like to go to Lapland for the festive period? We are about to find out. You may see the northern lights out the window. Wow, it's... There it is, look how good that looks. Are you in a Christmas dream, Dean? This place right here sits right on the Arctic Circle. I'm officially in the Arctic Circle. Oh my God, it's the Aurora Borealis. What? Are we really just witnessing this? No one's outside. What an exciting way to start Vlogmas this year. So today is travel day. We're gonna be flying from London Stansted to Rovanemi in Finland, AKA Lapland, the most Christmassy place on earth. We arrived here in London Stansted yesterday after around a three hour, 15 minute drive. It is a really simple premier in. We're actually not flying until later on this evening. We're very, very early in the season, but apparently it still looks really, really magical with a nice layer of frost everywhere. And there's only highs of minus seven when we arrive there. That's a high of minus seven. So it's gonna be between minus seven degrees Celsius to minus 10. So let's head off to Starbucks and spend the morning there, get some breakfast, do some work, and then head to the airport, shall we? So we know the temperature is gonna be freezing in Finland. Dean has forgot to pack his winter jacket. So he literally doesn't have a coat. And I have forgot to pack my winter boots so i actually bought two pairs of snow boots from vintage and i had some walking hiking waterproof boots and i forgot to pack them and we're currently in london and we live up north so what a nightmare we're gonna have to see what we can find in the airport and i even went out my way to try and save money by buying things off vintage bloody typical i can't believe it dean can't go without any coat it's freaking minus 10. has found a go outdoors about 18 minutes away we are currently at stansted airport like the actual area with the starbucks and everything however we decided to go and travel out about 18 minutes drive away to see if we can find some walking boots and a coat for dean feel like the prices will be really really expensive in the airport it might not guarantee us getting what we actually need for finland so let's head off shall we I'll do. We managed to get some boots, we managed to get a jacket, and now it's finally time to head to the airport. made it through security and now we're heading into the lounge we're gonna get something to eat sit down hopefully find some good wi-fi uh, i've never been to stansted airport before so looking forward uh, to seeing what they've got i've already spotted a coffee house harrison hool i've never heard of that one before dean just pointed out that it's mainly ryanair flights today and he's right <laughs> look at all those blue ryanair flights going all over the place Look at this huge Jameson alcohol bottle. Is it whiskey? Tree they've made. Gin. <laughs> this duty free is absolutely massive. Oh, there's even a Hanley's here. A little toy store. I have to say, I am glad that we bought our boots and jacket from Go Outdoors because it's all quite expensive shops here, like Super Dry, Mulberry. So I'm glad. I'm glad we bought it from Go Outdoors because I doubt I would have found like a pair of boots for 39 pounds in here. There's also like a Leon, there's Lebanon, there's Prep, and then there's something called the sunny side cafe over here which looks really cool inside look at this hello sunshine cool side cafe look how cool this looks inside we've come to the perch bar and kitchen and it's so nice in here it looks so fancy i love the wallpaper it's got like birds on it and it uh, says like oriental style stuff so they've got like barrel buns and goises we were going to go to that cafe 
it only really did sandwiches and stuff. Although it was a really cool theming. Plus, where we're sat, we're sat on these brown leather sofas. There's plugs underneath, so we can just sit here and do work and wait for our gate to open. So we're gonna get something to eat. I don't think they've got a full menu on. It's just this small bites menu, and it is fairly pricey, but it is very cozy and plush in here. And we've got a comfy spot, so we're just gonna grab something off this and uh, relax, I think, until our gate opens. The food has just arrived, and it actually does look delicious. It's a little bit pricey, like I say, but you can tell it's like good quality. We've got crispy pork belly here, beyond meat bao buns, and then we've got goises as well. So, just been sat here uploading the video. I've only got 21 minutes left of my vlog to upload, and our gate is now open, so I'm gonna have to abandon it. Anyway, the gate is open, so let's board the plane. Delayed. We've been stood in the corridor for about 45 minutes. We were actually stood in another corridor and all the lights went out. So then they moved us to this one, we all cheered because we thought we were getting on the plane just to wait in another corridor again. But hopefully we'll be moving very soon, but I'm assuming there's some sort of delay. But no one's really said anything yet. Oh, we're moving just as I put the camera on. I am probably wedged in the window with my big thick coat at the minute. We are delayed. We were meant to set off one hour ago. Uh, the captain has came over the top and said that he's not actually sure why we're just like waiting. They're waiting for traffic control or something, I don't know, to give them a go ahead. So we are just kind of sat here. But I have been overhearing the lady and gentleman in front of us said there is a 66% chance we may see the northern lights out the window when we go over. So can you even imagine that? It would be amazing. I'm not planning on seeing them this trip but if we could that would just blow me away but um yeah i've always wanted to see it that's like a bucket list thing as i'm sure it is for everyone but yeah now we're just waiting i'm actually watching king in it and we're just waiting to take off now these little ridges and I've been sticking my iPad through here and having my own little movie night and watching King in it. You can't really see anything outside apart from some lights uh, but we're gonna be landing in 20 minutes. Oh my gosh I don't know if my camera's gonna pick this up but there's reindeers on the airport or something like a little reindeer sculpture over there it's gonna be very cold because it's minus 14 outside so we better wrap up there's like a big thick layer of frost all covering the ground and when we were coming in rows and rows of beautiful pine trees covered in like frost it looks stunning i didn't get my camera quick enough to show you guys but made it to rovaniemi aka lapland in finland the official airport of santa claus have a great time here bye bye wow it's even cold in here look at all the trees and the snow you can see just the frost on everything wow and it isn't even the heavy snowfall yet i can see santa and look at a reindeer and trees on the baggage claim this is so cool wow <laughs> look oh my god what a cool airport dean oh look there's santa look at all the shrubbery and everything outside covered in a thick layer of frost i'm so excited so now we just need to get picked up by the bus very very cold but it's nice because there's no like wind so it's a very dry air actually i can't stand out here very long also there's the reindeer as you can see when you land it must be a very very small airport the oh dear there's been a flight cancelled from helsinki it's a very quiet airport but we've got little baubles hanging here and i found an atm so i'm gonna lift your on all day not atms Damn it, if I keep looking, I feel like there'll be one here. This is why you print your tickets out. That's pretty cool. There's a fireplace over there. Uh, where's an ATM? We're meant to be getting picked up by like this red Santa Claus village bus, 
but they thought our flight was cancelled so they haven't arrived and told us to just jump in a taxi because it's only five minutes away there it is look how good that looks how exciting holy smokes this looks magical check this out i can't actually believe it it looks absolutely amazing okay we need to go and check in oh it smells like cinnamon and gingerbread this is a lobby all lined in wood oh it's nice and warm in here it smells like gingerbread and cinnamon in here oh they've even got this little cozy corner where you can sit and have a hot chocolate or a drink a cute little spot over here where you can sit and drink it's got little fires what do you think so far dean so good it's so magical right okay we need to find our hut she said go around the back this way there's also three restaurants so obviously they're closed tonight because we were delayed so it's currently like i think it's half 10 or 11 o'clock there's three restaurants we're here for four nights including tonight so we're probably gonna try each restaurant oh wow i feel like i'm in christmas wonderland here we're staying in these beautiful red cabins we just need to find ours which is right next to the new restaurant which i can see now all lit up look at this santa claus holiday village and then there's the new restaurant and i think our cabin is just behind there she also mentioned that tomorrow there may be a chance on the night to see the northern light if we get super lucky oh my god that would just like make my day we'll have to ask about that tomorrow breakfast starts at 7 30 and breakfast is included in our stay so i want to get up super super early oh my god i can feel my eyebrows like freezing i want to get up super early and just take it all in and make the most of this whole trip because this really is a bucket list type trip behind us there's the new santa claus restaurant but coming somewhere like this is just something you dream of as a child and i never thought that i'd get around to doing this so soon in life so i feel super lucky and i'd love to eventually if we have kids in the future bring our children here but wow <laughs> i can't believe it are you in a christmas dream dean We've got a sauna though inside our room so that should be really good let's go inside oh coffee maker that's really important in the morning oh it's nice and toasty okay oh it's like a studio apartment so I'll give you a little room tour we paid around 600 pounds for this for four nights which i actually think is really really worth it for santa claus's village so we are slightly off peak just before december so some things are closed like the snow park that me and dean wanted to go to uh other things were open and we're really lucky because there is a fine layer of snow literally the day we go home heavy snowfall is due to start so the back end of november but you come in and it's kind of like the studio apartment we've got benches over here that you can sit and have your breakfast on we've got a little cool candelabra thing over here we've got a dishwasher which is like a huge bonus uh, loads of places for storage i haven't actually looked in these cupboards oh it's like fairy washing up liquid they've gave you a sponge and cloth to clean and a little scrubber uh this is really cool place to store your food uh, a hob which is really really handy so this is definitely set up for kind of families coffee making facilities love the fact that it's got a dishwasher you get all your knives and forks it looks like this um, apartment can hold four so i'm assuming over here is the sofa i'm assuming this folds out into a bed uh, i've got a nice plush rug then we've got our bed a big double bed i think it actually is bigger so probably for a family of like maybe two adults two kids i'm assuming i don't know but there's four cutleries we've got a really beautiful view of like the christmas trees and stuff outside and the new restaurant just out there which looks really magical to just look at one thing i really love is all the details like the antler um ceiling lights and the reindeer ceiling lights it's such a cute tote and then the piece de resistance for this whole place of course we're in finland and in Finland they've got saunas so right here in the bathroom you've got your very own freaking sauna inside here so that's going to be something we're going to do every single night look at this a full-on sauna I don't know how to use it I'm guessing you fill this up with water you scoop it so you turn it on you fill it up with water and then you put the water onto the hot coals and it creates hot steam oh so you just must turn it on turn it off and then get 
warm because you get cold to your bone outside. Mm. I gave you little slippers as well, look at these. Little Santa Claus holiday village slippers. They're so, so cool. Anyway, I think me and Dean are going to go back out and just have a little walk around, aren't we? And then we're maybe going to go to the gas station because the restaurants are shut just to get some tea. You've even got some straighteners and a hairdryer down there, which I didn't need to bring my straighteners for, but I'm absolutely blown away. I can't wait to use the sauna. We're going to use the sauna tonight. Yeah, let's go back outside and take some shots and stuff, take some pickies. We're going to phone our family and friends and then we're gonna come back in and use the sauna. We've just come back out and I'm just admiring the beautiful porch section here. And I've noticed the thermometer on the wall and it literally says minus 20. What the heck? It doesn't feel that cold though. I forgot my scarf and my cheeks feel like they're gonna plop off. It's very, very cold. However, for those of you who don't know, this place right here, Santa Claus's village and Rovanemi in general sits right on the Arctic Circle. So there's actually a place, which I think we're trying to find, where you can cross over to the Arctic Circle. It literally runs straight through Finland and Rovanemi is right in the centre and here at Santa Claus's village it has a big sign saying Arctic Circle and you can actually type in Lapland Live it'll take you to this actual resort right here and you can see a live stream so we've been checking on it <laughs> since the run up to coming here so I think we'll just have a little walk around there's also a garage right behind me where I'm gonna get some nice hot food. This is the post office which will be open tomorrow and we'll be taking you to there tomorrow where all of the letters to the North Pole, they go right there. This is why they come. Well, so here it is. Here's a line to the Arctic Circle. I don't know if you can see that big thermometer on there, but it currently says minus 12. Wow, look at this huge Christmas tree. Look, there we are on the live stream. There's a live stream camera and we've just crossed into the Arctic Circle. Nice. Oh, chilly minus 12. I'm officially in the Arctic Circle. And my fingers, even though I've got thermal gloves on, feel like they've got frostbite. Wow. It looks so magical. It's so cool. Wow, look at that huge Christmas tree. It looks so pretty. I can't believe it. This is like my Christmas dream come true since I was a kid. Is it snowing? Oh no, it's just blowing. Look at all that. The frost is blowing off the trees. Oh, this music. Christmas music. This is the garage Great, just over the road. There's Santa Claus's village. There's the garage. It's open 24 7. We're going to get some nice, warm, toasty food. I can't pull my lips on my nose. So I definitely need to bring my scarf out. I've tried about those hand warmers now. I've seen you on Amazon. You get these little hand warmers, but need some toasty, warm drinks. I can't wait. It's beautiful. Even the shell garage looks beautiful. Oh, oh that warmth is nice. They actually serve hot food as well. We've got little bits of ham and some yogurt for breakfast, some sausages, some drinks over here and some ramen but i think and so i like this little wood slat i think we're just gonna get some warm food already made i don't know what these are but they look like kind of bread pockets with minced beef and onions inside and i feel like these would be really nice to eat and just microwave inside so i'm gonna get some of these but all sorts of dishes here like meatballs and stuff so that's what we've got finished meatballs with gravy it looks like the ikea ones you can also get mugs and then they've got sandwiches different sandwiches, yogurts, and then they do like cinnamons and pastries, cinnamon buns and coffee and hot chocolate. We just went for the meatballs, which look like Ikea Swedish meatballs, mash and gravy. This is really nice in here. I wasn't expecting this. So yeah, I was expecting just like a normal garage. Uh, but this is very handy if we want to come over for some food. There we go, some steaming hot 
meatballs with gravy and cranberry sauce. Ah, I feel all warmed up now I've had something to eat. Those meatballs and gravy were so delicious with the cranberry sauce. Mwah, definitely recommend. Can you believe that was in a shell garage? How random. The pizza and the food in general look really good there. Anyway, crossing back over to Santa's village, all lit up there, and we're gonna put the sauna on. Oh my god. It's the Aurora Borealis. Oh, how do I turn my... Oh my god, oh my god, I feel like I could cry. I can't turn it on on the camera, but we can full on see it. Oh, how, do I, how do I show it up on my camera? Oh my god, you can see it on my camera. Oh my goodness, Dean, what the hell? You weren't meant to be able to see it tonight. Holy smokes. It looks mad, doesn't it? I can't actually believe what my eyeballs are seeing right now. Look at it, it's like massive streaks of green in the sky that just move around wow it's like moving all around like on what's it brother bear when the animals come dancing on the sky whoa it's going through bright again whoa that's a good one. Oh my god it's not, it's not focusing it's not my camera's not focusing can you believe what we're seeing right now we were just walking casually back and dean just like slapped me away Catherine, look oh my goodness whoa it's dancing all across there as well whoa. Are we really just putting this in this? No one's outside. It's like it's dancing in the sky, isn't it? Yeah. Like a ripple, like a wave, of like colour. Like. Yeah, and then you see like bits of purple and then it gets like brighter green and yellow and purple. And it's like the whole sky is lit up like green. Wow, look, it's moving now. What causes this phenomenon? I need to find out. And forming shapes. Wow, that's amazing, Dean. Can you believe it? I can't take it all in. I can't believe that's just made my actual whole trip. We can go home now, Dean. Oh my gosh, I actually can't believe that just happened. Like, I can't believe that just happened. We didn't even have that on the list of things to see. There was so many things this holiday that was just like a major bonus because we know how difficult it can be to catch them. And we're just casually walking back from our room and we've seen them. There's another bucket list item I can tick off my list. I, I just can't believe it. It will be amazing as well if you went somewhere without light pollution, but we could still see them dancing and moving. And look, we're just about to get in the sauna and I was unpacking my clothes and we noticed they gave us big fluffy bathrobes for the sauna. So we're gonna use one of them and use the sauna. How cute are they? Oh, we decided to save the sauna for tomorrow because it is around 1am now is it oh so we're all snuggled up in bed we've got the disney channel on and we're going to try and get an early night because i want to try and make the most out of this trip here in finland and i want to get up early in the morning go for breakfast coffee please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you in the next one when we will be going on a husky dog sled which i literally can't wait for and also we're going to go explore santa's village and the post office so lots of exciting christmas content and what a way to start vlogmas this year am i right i don't think i can ever beat the start of vlogmas then come into laughland so i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you very soon for some more christmasy finland vlogmas content all right then thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye